out of the hatred uh, against uh, other races, uh, which uh, every single uh, race out there uh, has endured uh, racism. One that doesn't really get covered is uh, the hate against Asians. And this has not just been recently, uh, this has like, also happened uh, since uh, back when, uh, when Asians were immigrating to other countries, when uh, Asian uh, countries like uh, poor and uh, they weren't, uh, um, well some countries were sort of like successful, like Well, some well, like uh, Korea, Japan, and uh, and most uh, the other uh, Asian uh, countries that uh, that were not so successful, uh, and uh, they were like sort of poor countries, uh, unlike uh, they how they are today uh, nowadays. Uh, It's like back when they were immigrating, and while like like the like Chinese people were helping, uh, making the railway uh, system uh, in the North America, U.S., Canada, and USA. And while the uh, Chinese people were, um, they were attacked uh, and hanged and um, even killed uh, after they were stranded over here in um, North America, after we like, they couldn't really, uh, they didn't have enough money to go back. Japanese people were farming way before World War Two. Which there was a lot of Japanese farmers, but uh, only one Japanese farmer, uh, farm uh, family uh, are only existing right now. But I'm quite sure some have uh, regained their farms back, but a lot of uh, lost their farms because uh, they were put in uh, camps. Not as severe as uh, the Nazi camps, but they were put in one the. Uh, Canada and USA did this. The Koreatown riot in the Koreatown, uh, Los Angeles, when uh, black people were accusing uh, the, the Korean immigrants for stealing uh, jobs when they're actually uh, were trying, to, the Korean immigrants were trying to make a living because uh, back when uh, Korea was uh, poor, both North and South, before uh, the uh, USA and Russia, Soviet Union uh, sp split it uh, in the north and south. And uh, that was when that, the black people over there were just uh, only selling drugs and they weren't uh, trying to work hard. And they were that violent and police even got involved. Which a lot of the uh, people on uh, the north, mostly uh, North America, where people of other races were thinking, were, uh, were viewing it as, oh, you Asians that uh, don't belong here, go back to uh, where you came from. That comment was uh, being thrown a lot, and uh, there were people were dropping the C word, or giving the slant eye. That was enough racism, and not much of that was uh, covered. But when the coronavirus pandemic happened, uh, March uh, 2020, that's when uh, things really started to get worse. Uh, and uh, a lot of uh, that was uh, when the uh, Chinese uh, people and uh, mostly Chinese Americans uh, were accused of uh, starting coronavirus. And uh, when uh, a lab uh, in uh, Wuhan, China, there was uh, that announcement. 
although it's not 100% clear out where it originally originated. And then there was like people like previous uh, pre president uh, of the USA, uh, Donald Trump, uh, using the words uh, China virus and Kong flu, which is uh, both racist and uh, an offensive, uh, which the actual uh, scientific terms are like coronavirus or COVID-19. And uh, starting that year, uh, the uh, Asian uh, people were spat on. They were told, told, told that go back to China. They were slant, they were slant thigh. Uh, they were attacked often. Uh, some Asian businesses robbed. As we uh, hear reports uh, from uh, all across uh, North America. From over from uh, Los Angeles to uh, Chicago to New York to Toronto and to Vancouver, Montreal, where people were attacked and robbed and And even the uh, Asian uh, American, Asian Canadian people, were, uh, police were talking about this. And although some things like uh, Kevin Dishimura, who uh, is like the one who started the Far East movement, uh, the Asian uh, American group uh, of him and uh, three others, although it's just uh, him and two others now. And also the owner of the Transparent Arts, uh, the Asian American uh, music label. And even uh, he held uh, just days before July 1st, uh, an Asian American uh, music festival, uh, which consisted of uh, people like uh, Far East Movement, uh, Dumbfounded, uh, Tiffany Young, Henry, and a whole bunch of other uh, Asian uh, American uh, artist you uh, may know of. And uh, so in 2021, Fanny Luo uh, started that uh, next shark, the uh, Asian uh, news. Uh, And also, uh, also one of the people uh, who uh, started the uh, hashtag Stop Asian Hate uh, and working with uh, people like Ken Jeong and a whole bunch of other Asian Americans out there who uh, decided to stand up for their fellow Asians who have been targets of racism and have been affected in any form of way physical, verbal, or cyber. And also uh, people also giving contributions like uh, Korean uh, American uh, cartoonist uh, Leila Lee, who, uh, who's the one who uh, the, the, the comic uh, Asian, uh, Ang Ang Asian uh, girl, you probably see it on uh, Instagram. Uh, just uh, search uh, A angry Asian uh, girl. And she also uh, made uh, does um, a lot of uh, comics that were uh, mostly uh, Asian Asian uh, immigrants would understand. Uh, also, with pe major companies uh, like uh, McDonald's, uh, the Pokemon Company, and a whole bunch of other large franchises. Uh, have uh, been uh, donated money to uh, what is called uh, Asian American Pacific Islanders uh, 
group uh, which supports uh, Asian American Pacific Islanders uh, and uh, uh, let's say and uh, there's also uh, other uh, Asian support groups uh, who are out there uh, but there's uh, some out there who are not so helpful and they're they're just faking it And then while uh, some people uh, who have also uh, decided to speak out with also musicians uh, like a uh, guitarist and producer uh, Tabin Lee who is, uh, is a Korean immigrant grew, grew up in uh, Toronto works out of Montreal right now had uh, told this uh, story about uh, People being racist to him at concert performances uh, using a C word, uh, which is a it's offensive to uh, Chinese and Korean uh, people. Uh, some people mistook him for Chinese, uh, and uh, they're also uh, they're offensive. Uh, oh, are you from North or South Korea? Which uh, Koreans uh, hate to hate to hear that. And he has also made some uh, several uh, tweets uh, regarding saying that and also uh, he also said this as well on Twitter people endorse uh, Asian uh, culture but they do not accept the Asian uh, people and that is true because people uh, they are uh, like uh, Japanese uh, manga and anime uh, and uh, the games that they make uh, and uh, the Korean K-pop and uh, the other music, uh, Korean drama or uh, and whatever comes out of China like Chinese food or they go to Chinese buffets. Uh, And they think they know uh, Chinese. Uh, they try to uh, speak the language of, uh, of Asians. Uh, they try to make their own uh, versions of our food, uh, and uh, which and they go to our uh, our places, uh, the restaurants, uh, the businesses, and everything. Uh, they think they know our culture, but really they don't. Uh, and uh, and even they make fun of uh, Asians as well, uh, and also the Asian stereotypes. Oh, uh, you're Asian. Oh, you must be smart, or or they think all Asians are either Chinese or Japanese. And there, there's uh, still a lot of people uh, who are still blaming uh, Asians that uh, go back to uh, where China or other stuff. And even uh, racism is over. It's still happening, even in Australia, where some people have been uh, very uh, anti Asian, I uh, hate. Uh, towards uh, Asian people uh, over uh, who live in, uh, in the Pacific Coast. Uh. And even uh, though some changes may be made, uh, like helping the Asian community uh, or Having a uh, school that uh, learn uh, the contributions of Asians uh, to a certain of the country, the uh, or uh, the current U.S. Uh, pre president uh, Joe Biden uh, passing uh, a law, but uh, also uh, in support of uh, Asian. Uh, 
Americans, unfortunately, that is not enough. Because there have been still some attacks and uh, everything that is going on. And, and uh, it doesn't just happen over in uh, the Americas or or in Australia or Europe. Uh, even though this kind of word has uh, made its way all the way to uh, Asian countries. Uh, and they uh, know about uh, the discrimination that uh, is going on in these countries. And yet, nothing is doing, done about it. And uh, while uh, the other uh, racial, racial groups uh, who get support, uh, like uh, the white people uh, have always gotten support, but and they've also been targets of racism at times, because uh, they have been uh, victims of racism and will uh, actually admit that, that it's true. Black people have then gotten a lot of support because uh, uh, there have been a lot of uh, supporting black people videos and uh, even uh, even a lot of uh, scenarios uh, or life stories uh, or stuff that uh, they uh, make that. Uh, uh, like white people, uh, the bad guy, and uh, black people, the, the target. There's too much of that. Latinos have also gotten support. And that not just our racial, but also the LGBT people uh, have also gotten more support than the Asian people have ever been. Yeah, got. And so. And even like, uh, we've been talking about uh, media about the uh, Asian, uh, Asian uh, out there, uh, that, that was about the Asian people, uh, like Kim's Convenience, uh, which uh, the play which ended up uh, getting a spin off, and some people, uh, Netflix uh, series, and people have been looking at that wrong, and even Simu Liu and Jin Yoon have been uh, sp speaking out about it. And then some people like Mr. Beast uh, has no regards of a uh, squid game and just doing it for uh, views. And there's a whole bunch of other things that people uh, will endorse uh, or try to make their own version of Asian uh, things uh, on culture and uh, they have uh, no care of uh, about uh, how uh, Asian uh, people would uh, think about it, and they have uh, do not consider uh, Asian people at all. So, and with uh, so many decades, so many uh, years, three years into the coronavirus pandemic, and uh, literally nothing has changed. So, stop only supporting the, the black people, the Latinos, the LGBTs, the Aboriginals, uh, which they also they deserve to get attention though, too. Asian people also uh, need to get support as well, so, you know, don't always just consider, it, consider those people. Also uh, consider supporting uh, Asian people too, because we never get to get to help, and uh, when police reports got happen happen, and uh, yeah, if you don't have that uh, video evidence or f photo evidence, yeah, they don't even bother to help you. So unlike uh, the other people, yeah, we don't even get help. So this is why we really uh, are speaking out about it, and yeah. So, 
know, please help uh, support the Asian community. See racism or hate crimes uh, targeting Asian people, anti-Asian hate. Report it. No. Do something about it. Step in. Report it to the police. All evidence. Uh, take photo of that or videos as you go and help. Please contact the local Asian support group down near you. There are quite a lot, in, uh, but mostly you do the ones uh, like Stop Asian Hate uh, and the AAPI. The other ones are not so credible. And please uh, support for any friend, friends or people you know, and yeah, maybe make some friends who are Asian instead of uh, giving us, uh, making fun of us or talking trash about us and actually do, do support us. Because just supporting our content uh, or what we make uh, is not enough. Support our people too. For any uh, post that uh, you uh, make a uh, uh, speaking out about it and supporting us, use the hashtag stop page and eight and uh, hashtag stop racism. Yes, we need it more than ever. Because so many decades and so many years back, and nothing has changed. Well, other people, other races are benefiting, and uh, even on uh, LGBT, we aren't. So please support us.